In this next topic, let's talk about the U.S. in relation to other countries in the world. We've talked enough about the United States in relation to its own health and health system and health policies. Why should the U.S. care about the health conditions, the health systems of other countries in the world, other countries outside of the United States? Let's look at four reasons. The first of these is that it's about American values. Americans think of themselves as people who are concerned about the well-being of their fellow citizens and concerned about the well-being of the rest of humanity. Americans think of themselves as a country that cares about the world outside the United States. These quotes from a variety of U.S. leaders bring that point home to us. Former President Bill Clinton said that it was immoral that people in Africa would die of diseases that no one dies of in the United States. Not only that, when people are dying of these preventable, avoidable diseases, this will cause unrest and other social problems that the U.S. will eventually have to intervene to pay attention to and to help repair. One of his main political opponents, Senator John McCain, said, we should stop American kids from smoking, but we don't seem to care that much about Asian or African kids. Why is that? He asked that question. Dr. Martin Luther King, one of our most famous civil rights leaders, highlighted the, the importance of health, noting that of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health care is the most shocking and inhumane. Many Americans would feel that these leaders were speaking for them when they talked about health conditions outside the United States. A second reason we care is that health and disease are global problems. And these problems often come to affect us in unanticipated and un unexpected ways. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control has said that the most effective and least expensive way to protect Americans from diseases and other health threats is to begin overseas to stop them before they come to the United States. This chart shows the spread of swine flu, the H1N1 flu epidemic that began in 2009 and lasted for almost a year until it abated somewhat. This disease was called swine flu, although it was actually an amalgam of a number of different flu strains and genetic changes that took place uh, in influenza. The flu epidemic affected tens of millions of Americans. Many of them became physically ill, others were simply infected. And it was estimated that this swine flu outbreak cost 1 to 4 percent of our gross domestic product in terms of lost economic activity and response costs. So health threats that come from overseas to the United States affect us. They affect our health and they affect our economy. A third reason why Americans care about health outside the United States is that we're very involved economically in investments and in activities that affect the health of people in other countries. This chart shows three major U.S. healthcare companies who are big investors in healthcare outside the United States. The United Health Group, the 90th biggest company in the world, WellPoint, an insurance company that is the 201st biggest company in the world, and Cigna, another insurance company with a provider network that spans thousands of hospitals, physicians, and other kinds of healthcare providers. All of these companies and many other U.S. companies in the healthcare industry are investing in healthcare overseas. In addition, U.S. companies that aren't involved in healthcare are also affected by health conditions overseas. We have major investments in manufacturing and trade all over the world. When employees of these companies become ill, that affects the productivity of U.S. investments abroad. And also, U.S. companies have to pay sometimes for the health care of their employees abroad. A fourth reason that Americans care about health conditions in the rest of the world has to do with national security. And we've had a lot of talk about that in recent years. Americans are concerned about the potential for those who want to threaten and harm the United States to use health, health and disease mechanisms as a way of harming Americans in the United States. 
Our uh, commissioner for the Food and Drug Administration, Margaret Hamburg, has said that biological threats, both man-made by weapons and bioterrorism, and naturally occurring infectious diseases threats, like pandemic flu, they all represent a huge threat to our health, but also to our national security. And there are a number of specific areas that Americans are concerned about when it comes to national security. We're concerned about not being able to identify future threats because countries may not have adequate surveillance systems themselves to monitor these threats as they emerge overseas. We're concerned about countries that may be reluctant to share information for reasons of national pride or their own security about what is happening in their countries, and we won't be adequately prepared for these threats. We're concerned about new, drug, new, new diseases, new pathogens, and the development of drug resistance from overuse and inappropriate use of drugs, which might create health problems for us here domestically. And we're concerned about intentional or accidental release of health-harming biological agents, which could affect us here in the United States. So Americans have a lot of reasons to care about what happens in the rest of the world. Not only their, their humanitarian concern for the rest of, uh, of the planet, but also very uh, uh, serious concerns about their own well-being, both economic and social, and, secure, and their security.